be the President of the Republic of Kenya, the Honorable Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta, Mama Martha and Mama Grace, and the entire family of Mze Simon Nyachai, Your Graces, a bishop and pastors present, all my colleague leaders, na watu wote wakisi, abantu bami ya mbuyamore, mbuyamore naende. Mweshmiwa rais mimi nitakuwa mfupi. Kwanza, na leta rambi rambi za familia yangu, na watoto kwa familia ya mzee baba wetu Simon Yachai and as we mourn the departure of mzee Nyachai we equally celebrate a great patriotic Kenyan a consummate administrator and public servant, an astute businessman, a brave and courageous politician, and a loving, strict, but also forgiving father and father figure. Despite the differences in age between me and Mzee Nyachai, as Charles has said, we had a relationship. And Michael, when he read Mzee's eulogy, he mentioned that Mzee was a very strict person. And occasionally, he took out the cane and uh, straightened people. Michael did not mention the list of people who became either victims or beneficiaries <laughs> of Mzee Nyachai's cane because he ran the risk of including me in that list. <laughs> and I think it's uh, an appropriate moment for a confession that apart from the blows and the other measures that were meted on his immediate family, those of us he found in politics, he also did not spare us. He made sure that we walked the straight and the narrow. I remember very well in Yamarambe, Omingo Magara and myself misbehaved. <laughs> and uh, Michael did not say because he is actually the person Mze Nyachai sent to go and collect the cane. Na hapo tulipata kuwadhibiwa. But I also say Mze Nyachai was loving and forgiving. I remember subsequently, we looked for him, Omingo and myself, and he was very gracious. He did not tell us to go to the office, he asked us to go home. And Mama Grace here is a witness. And we went and asked for forgiveness from Ze, and he was a gracious mentor and father. <laughs> Subsequently, I remember again we went and Grace was again our host as we went to see Mze Nyachai with President Uhuru Kenyatta. That time in 2013, 2012, we had many problems and Mze Nyachai gave us worthy counsel. And he encouraged us as a father figure. 
That is despite the fact that we hadn't supported him when he ran for president, but we, when he ran for president. But when we went to seek for his counsel and support, he graciously agreed to support President Uhuru Kenyatta. And we are eternally grateful to him and to his family. Finally, as Mzee Nyachai rests, he speaks to us, and he speaks to us loudly. Looking at his life, he had the option of waiting to share what his father Mzee Nyandusi had. But he chose a different route, that instead of waiting to share what was there, he decided to create more. And that is why, with a humble portion mill, with a small bakery, he built a huge business empire that not only created opportunity, it created wealth, and it created jobs. And that is the lesson that Mze Nyachai in this casket is giving to us as the people of Kenya, that yes, we can wait to share, but it's much more important if we roll up our sleeves, tighten up our belts, pull up our socks, and create. Without further ado, it's now my very humble duty to request His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, to come and make his remarks. Your Excellency, sir.